2024 marks the first decade for Daria. It is impressive to look back at the progress we have made in the past 10 years. Together we have designed and developed a research infrastructure that enables a completely new type of collaboration. This year we celebrate all these achievements and look forward to Daria's second decade. I'm really so glad to be here in Lisbon for the 10th anniversary of Daria. And I look at the various people being involved in the Daria spirit, the various scientific communities, and also the number of countries which have bloomed since the beginning of Daria in 2014. At that time, we had to invent everything. We had to structure Daria as a community, but also as an administration. And now looking back even further in time, I remember this little meeting in January 2006 with the Max Planck Society, the CNRS, Dance and the Arts and Humanities Data Service in the UK, where we thought of the idea of inventing something which became Daria, where we had to knock at the various doors in one country to another to say, look, this is a great idea, come and join. Uh, we've got something to do together at European level. So somehow we built a little bit of Europe as we know it now, and I'm so glad to see this uh, achieved now. Since Daria was established in 2014, we've expanded to many different European countries. Daria currently counts 22 member countries across Europe and many cooperating partners. This was strategically important both to reach out to a wide diversity of different countries across Europe and be able to support all the different types of research. Also, we had the strategic initiative Daria Beyond Europe, which enabled us to move beyond the European borders to, for example, United States or even Egypt. This was really important because science doesn't stop at the European borders. As Dario was becoming bigger as an organization, we realized that we could no longer rely upon the basic competencies of a group of really smart, passionate people to drive the organization forward. We needed structures, we needed professionalization. And a big part of that was our strategic plan. We did it as very much a community effort. It was bottom up and top down with people contributing what they thought the organization should be and what they thought the organization should do. And then we at the management level would distill that into a set of almost primitives, the kind of those, those key things we needed to do that were the pillars that eventually came to be a part of our strategic plan. And from doing those things and from investigating what we needed to do and sharpen as an organization, we actually were able to distill that big picture. And that has been the strategic plan that's guided Daria since we released it in 2019. Through the years, Daria has been collecting user requirements, analyzing them towards taking certain steps of action um, in building what we call Daria strategy. One of the main areas that we work on is open science. We have been uh, working uh, towards getting situated very centrally in open science initiatives across Europe. Also, uh, this year, 2024, we will be launching the Overlay Journal, which is one of, the, of, of our major initiatives. Our services through the Social Sciences and Humanities Open Marketplace are of course central in our work. Training, because social sustainability is huge in the area, particularly through our discovery framework and hosting platform of learning resources, that's Daria Campus. And not least our working groups, which lie very dearly in my heart. I think this is where the research core of Daria lies. For most of us, uh, Daria has been a labor of love and a true success story, a story of growth and impact across Europe. 
2023 was the most successful year in Daria's history in terms of funding acquired. And so I'm very happy that we entered this anniversary year busier than ever. We are working with our communities, we are partnering up with other research infrastructures and making sure that the digital landscape in Europe becomes stronger and more sustainable. The last 10 years have been filled with so much dedication and excitement. For anchoring arts and humanities at the centre of a technologically evolving knowledge society. Now it's time to look forward to Daria's next steps. To continue envisioning inspiring and innovating in this exciting world of digital arts and humanities. We can't wait to shape the next decade together with our community. Here's to the future of Daria. A new decade with endless possibilities and passion to achieve even more.